for the curve y is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 3x, find the values of x where the gradient is equal to minus 2. Let's have a look at the main steps of doing this. So the main steps are, number one, you need to find the gradient function dy by dx. Number two, you then take equate dy by dx and put it equal to minus 2. Number three, you solve the resulting equation. So taking my fun function y is equal to x squared minus x squared minus 3x, and then differentiating it term by term, so dy by dx, if y is equal to ax to the n, dy by dx is bring the n down, and then reduce the power, write down the x, and then reduce the power by 1. So, 3x cubed becomes 3x squared. So, x squared becomes, uh, minus x squared becomes minus 2x. And then, differentiating minus 3x becomes minus 3. We now put that, e we now put this equal to minus 2. So, put dy by dx equal to minus 2. We have 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to minus 2. This is a quadratic. In order to solve a quadratic, we must put it equal to 0. So the opposite of taking 2 is to add 2 to both sides. So if we add 2 to this side, we get 0. If we add 2 to this side, we're going to get minus 1. So we end up having to solve a 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So solving this, this is a quadratic. You can try to factorise it, use the formula. It does actually factorise. If we do the product sum factors method, the product is the first term, 3 times minus 1, 3 times minus 1, which gives you minus 3. And the sum is the middle term, which is minus 2. Then for the factors, we need to find two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get minus 3. And we add the same two numbers, we get minus 2. So the factors are going to be minus 3 and 1. We can check that. Minus 3 times 1, the product, is equal to minus 3, so that's OK. And then... And then the sum is going to be minus what, 3 plus 1, which is minus 2, again, which is OK. So this is OK. So what we do now, we write down the quadratic, so we start with 3x squared, and then the middle term becomes minus 3x plus x. We haven't changed the meaning because minus 3x plus x goes back and it makes minus 2x. Minus 1 is equal to 0. And then we factorise by grouping. So we group that and that together. And we take out a common factor here. The highest common factor is 3x. And we're left with x minus 1. If we do that, you can check by just multiplying back in 3x squared minus 3x. Here there is no common factor, but we have to put the plus sign in the bracket, x minus 1, and it might be a good idea to enter the 1. The 1 doesn't change the meaning, it's still equal to 0. Now we have a common factor of x minus 1, so we have x minus 1 times 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So the x minus 1 has come out, and it leaves a 3x plus 1. So from this we can get the solutions which x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1 third. So the places where the gradient is equal to minus, ter minus 2 on this function is going to be 1 or x is equal to minus 1 third.